Okay, today we're gonna seal our diamond painting. We've checked the diamonds, we've held them up to the light to make sure they're all there. We there, we rolled this diamond painting. All the diamonds are in, they're flat. And now we're going to apply some Mod Podge. With a little bit of water in the dish and with a brush and a wet rag. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some tape and I'm gonna tape down the edges all the way around. And I'm just doing this so Mod Podge doesn't get all over our desk. And it's not rocket science doing this, just painters, painters tape all the way around. Okay, seal those edges right there. All right, let's apply the Mod Podge. Again, I'm using a little bit of water to cut the Mod Podge. I've shaken it up. This is at Walmart. We get this for about four or five bucks. And let's pop it open. Okay, there we go. Put it in the water, so we're cutting this by about half. There we go. I should have opened that better, but I didn't. And now we're just gonna mix it up with our brush. And the reason I cut this is I just, I don't need it to be as thick as it is. Okay, uh, just cut it with some water, mix it up. Okay, that's a good mix. And now we're just gonna apply it liberally onto our diamond painting. You know, this is not rocket science right here. Just put it out there, use your brush to gently spread it into the into all the cracks, you know, just put it all on there. We might have to use more, who knows. Just dead everywhere. And take your time. All the way to the edges. Definitely want to make sure it gets down to all those cracks. That's yeah, really nice. That's yeah, really nice. And then we'll just remove the excess off to the sides like this. Just very gently brushing. Gently. I don't want any diamonds to come loose while I'm doing this. I mean, they shouldn't. And then we can take a wet rag. Okay, I've got a damp rag right here. And we can just remove some of the excess blotting. 
because taking it off the top of the diamonds is okay. We want it to go in between the diamonds, but we're trying to remove the excess on top of the diamonds, right? So we got maximum shine, but maximum sealing. And I just blot this around, make sure we go around the edges. So you can see now we're now the Mod Podge is down in between the diamonds, but we've cleaned off the top. So this is a technique: half cut, half cut Mod Podge, and then taking off the excess sealant off the top of the diamond paint uh, off the top of the diamonds with a damp rag. save some luster. We're going to lose a little bit of luster with this, but not too much. You'll see that Mod Podge is really good for this. Okay, I think that's about it. And now we're going to let it dry for about, about two hours. Now well, two to four, but I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this a day. Okay, I'm just going to let it sit here and dry for a day, and then I'm going to come back and we're going to film the rest of this as we cut around the edges. I'll show you what it looks like when it's dry, and then we'll eventually do a framing of a diamond pane, right? Maybe not this one, uh, but we will do a framing video. So that's pretty good. That's all there is to it. Take the, take the Mod Podge, cut it, put it on there liberally and then use a damp cloth to take off the excess Mod Podge by blotting it and then let it dry for, oh, I say 24 to 48 hours is uh, probably best. And then if you want, you know, you can come along the edges and take it off like that. Not necessary because it all, it all will eventually dry and you're gonna cut that portion off anyways. Last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bowl and our brush and we are going to go clean them while the Mod Podge is still damp and we're taking off all the excess Mod Podge. Okay, that should be it. We're going to go clean the bowl and the brush and the rag and let this dry for 24 to 48 hours and we'll pick up the video after that. Thank you very much. Okay, welcome back everybody. The Mod Podge has dried and now we're going to cut out our diamond painting. I use a X-Acto knife. You could use scissors, whatever, whatever you can that's uh, sharp. And uh, I'm just gonna cut around the edges and go from there. The, uh, the Mod Podge is dried. It's been about 48 hours. I press firmly right along the edge of the diamond painting to slice all the way through. Okay, so our diamond painting is cut out, and I'm just going to take a match and just trim these off with the match. I'll do that later on, but that takes about 10 seconds with a match or a, you know, fire starter or whatever. But this is what it's going to look like at the end. Go around this with a match, burn off all that fuzzy stuff there. Now I'm going to show you a close-up of what the diamond painting looks like. Okay, let's look at the diamond painting up close. See what it looks like after it's been sealed. Still got a sparkle and a shine right there. Next up is framing. 
Okay, like, comment, and subscribe for more. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.